Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you examination system final uh, project and in this uh, video I am going to add some views related uh, to your teachers, uh, related to users and related to students. So uh, the first view is related to your uh, logout or you can say login features. So uh, related to the accounts you can say so underscore login layout is the name of your uh, view or you can say uh, your shared view so just copy that uh, layout.cshtml file and paste just uh, under your uh, login layout.cshtml file and you can see that uh, that is the navbar collapse button there there we have a some hyperlinks and we have a uh, hyperlink for the uh, application name so just remove it and uh, this is the empty screen you can say so layout.cshtml uh, sorry login layout.cshtml is prepared uh, very well according to the project and the next thing you can add the new uh, layout for the underscore students layout so underscore student layout and again just paste uh, your uh, underscore layout.cshtml file code and oops just select the division you can say and removed it and here you can see where we have a hyperlink control for the online examination system dot web i mean to say that where your application name is there so just remove the application name and uh, add some text like attend exams and asp controller and asp action method uh, will be changed according to the attend examinations so asp action method is what ASP controller also add in the hyperlinks actually you can see uh, ASP controller is already added in the uh, hyperlink so IntelliSense will not work with that uh, uh, with that name you can say with that attribute because it's already added so just you can use okay and uh, controller section attend exam so the controller name is students okay and the action method name is and uh, so the uh, you can say that the student controllers and uh, where we have uh, some action method name like the create attend exam uh, so just pick that name attend exam and uh, just add it here attend exam in the action method name okay so uh, in student layout we have some other uh, hyperlinks also so just add these uh, hyperlinks and uh, okay and uh, just replace with the attend exam name with the view results okay mm, view result and the action method name is related to the view result just copy from the student controller section so just add it just copy and paste under the view results okay and the third one is uh, the profile so just copy the profile name from the controller and action uh, action method just paste it here and also change the text that is the profile okay now just copy again for the logout also just i want to add a new hyperlink for the logout so just copy that and paste 
and just change the name that is the logout and the action method name is the similar that is a uh, logout and controller is a uh, account controller you can say okay so logout and asp controller is account controller okay now just add another view for the teacher you can say so underscore teacher layout the name of the controller uh, the name of the views is that underscore teacher layout so just uh, copy uh, the code from the layout.cshtml file and just paste in, uh, under the underscore teacher layout.cshtml file okay and change some hyperlinks uh, related to your uh, view section the first one is exams and the controller name is exams and action method is index as usual so exam controller is there are index just copy that hyperlinks and uh, paste for multiple times paste paste and uh, and also remove that divisions okay and the second hyperlink is related to your uh, question answers question and answers and the controller name also q and ears you can check uh, in the solution explorer that is the correct name you can put it here yeah it's the same name okay and the third one uh, is a uh, logout so the action method is the logout and the controller name is account controller the controller name is account controller okay so I think it's clear now attach these views uh, or you can say attach the layouts page with the views so account con first of all go to the view section account and logout where you can see that layout is changed according to the newly created layouts like view shared login layout.cshtml file of the account views okay and the next one is exams third one is groups a fourth one is question answers and five one is the students and you can check the login layout uh, of the newly created uh, newly attached view you can say where your uh, header section is removed according to the newly created layout CS yes. username passwords and the role is mentioned okay just removed it and the second view under the exams so exams is related to the teachers so view shared teacher layout and uh, according to the view teacher layout okay 
the second one is clear the third one is you can say also modified the layout.cshtml file so just first of all remove that divisions and uh, add some hyperlink also like the groups like the users like uh, logout also so for the first uh, hyperlink is related to the users and uh, controller name is a users controller and uh, method name is similar index so just copy that hyperlink and paste for multiple times let uh, and uh, attach with the groups and uh, so just add groups so then uh, second uh, hyperlink is uh, related to the groups so asp controller is the groups and the action method name is similar like index the next one is a student so students and the asp controller is related to the the same students okay so uh, here we have uh, multiple uh, layouts and according to the layouts we can set uh, the related uh, layouts of the views to the views so logout is action method is the logout and the controller name is account as usual you know so uh, just change account okay the layouts is prepared uh, prepared uh, very well account uh, login layout layout students layout and uh, teacher layout so just remove that account is uh, view is prepared exams is there groups is there and question answers question answer is related to the teachers layout create.cshtml okay teacher layouts so question answer is related to the teachers layout okay and the student is actually related to the students layout so attend exam is related to layout.cshtml attend exam is related to the student layout and uh, profile is related to the i think students layout because the profile is actually uh, related to the student so just copy that and the last result is view results is also related to the students so student layout is mentioned at here and remaining these uh, views is related to the layout.cshtml file okay so uh, student is clear now after that you can check the first entry in the database table okay uh, so just sh show your database uh, in the SQL Server Object Explorer, where your database name is Online Examination DB, yeah, is there. The first entry you have to mention in the Users table that is related to the admin, where you can add uh, groups. Where you by using the admin, you have to add uh, groups, and uh, groups. I mean to say that class, uh, add teachers, and uh, and any others. So add these entries like admin, admin and the role ID is the one. So admin is the username and the password is also admin. So just create button, click on it. And you can see that users, groups and students and logout is there. Oops, unhandled exception because uh, HTTP get and HTTP post method is mentioned on the action method name. So just remove that thing from by using uh, multiple matches so open your uh, groups controller and you where you can see that uh, create create is a multiple times so just remove by using the um, add http get and http post attributes so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to uh, online examination system in asp.net core and this is the final video tutorial of your online examination system and successfully created and uh, you can share this video on your facebook on your whatsapp and also purchase this project in a lowest price like 20 dollar and uh, okay by using PayPal. 
थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो कीप वॉचिंग्स